everybody. In this video, I will present you the Bonjour protocol and how it is implemented in iOS. It's of interest to have interoperability without configuration. And so it's of interest to have zero configuration networking, just to discover what you have around you and to have some peer-to-peer -peer communication. And one way to do it is to do it thanks to Bonjour. Bonjour is the implementation of the ZeroConf standard that is defined in the RFC, uh, RFC sorry, uh, 3927 that was issued in May 2005 by the uh, Network and Communication Standard Organization called IETF. It's a high-level network service that is offered by the operating system that allows you to publish a service and to browse available services. And basically, it's available on the local network. It can be available through Bluetooth, but also through Wi-Fi. The first thing to do is to publish a service. And one service will be handled by one object of type net service in Swift, NS net service in Objective-C. And in that object, you must specify the name, the domain, the type, and the port. And then, by delegation, you will handle asynchronous information. Let's have a look on the way you do it à la Swift. So here, you have this service, net service, and you first specify local for local services. Basically, this is what you do. Then you specify the service plus its type. Here it's underline foo, but it could be underline whatever you want. Dot, underline TCP or UDP, and then the last dot. And you must not forget the last dot, otherwise it doesn't work. Then you have a name, and you should never let this name empty. And it can be whatever you want. This is the name of the service. Okay, and finally, you have a port number. Okay, then you set the delegate for this net service. Here I do it with self, but it can be, of course, any object that is supporting the net service delegate protocol. And then I publish, I request my net service to publish this service. Okay. Of course, it's very similar in Objective-C. You have NS things before, uh, okay, NS net service, NS net service delegate, but it works similarly. If you activate, if you set include peer-to-peer -to, -peer to true, then you also activate Bluetooth, okay? But it works in both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. In fact, this is totally transparent. It works. You don't have to wonder how it works, but it works. And once the service is published, then you get answers or information through this net service delegate protocol. Let's have a look at the method of net service delegate. Uh, all methods are optional. You have some methods handling publication. So net service will publish, invoke just before the publication. Uh, net service did not publish. And then you have a dictionary with all the reasons why your service was not published, or service, net service, sorry, did publish, and then you are sure that everything is okay. You can also handle service resolution, so you have net service will resolve, okay, and then did not resolve, so the same with the information about the reasons where it could not be resolved, and also net service did resolve the address, and then you know that everything is okay. And you have also information about update and termination. Here you have net service did update txt record data, okay, and then thanks to this mechanism, bonjour, you can share data, update data, and the data is propagated. Okay, so when somebody propagated the data to you, you are invoked with this method, you are aware that the data has been changed. And net service did stop, you know that this net service has been finished. For more information, I strongly encourage you to have a look at the fantastic manual. Uh, when you are looking for published services, you need a net service browser. And the principles are 
common now, you create it, you assign a delegate, a delegate that will uh, answer to uh, protocol, uh, okay, and you start research, okay. Here I show you how I can do that in Swift. So Net Browser is Net Service Delegate Browser. I save the delegate and I request my browser to search for a given service and on a given domain. Okay. And I have also other methods, stop, etc. etc. Go to the fantastic manual for more information. Once my browser has started, it will inform me thanks to a protocol that is unsurprisingly called Net Service Browser Delegate with a set of optional methods. Uh, here it found the domain or the domain was removed. Okay. Here it found the service or the service was removed and here you have uh, Net Service Brother will search, so he will start the search, uh, did not search with an error verdict, or did stop search, okay, with also uh, mentioning the end of uh, the uh, browse. Okay, so using this, you can be aware when a service appears, okay, or when a service disappears. You do information exchange thanks to a TXT record data. Basically, it's a dictionary and uh, here you can uh, either get the data of a service thanks to this method or to set this TXT uh, record of a service and then it will be published to the other uh, available interlocutor. Okay, uh, and also you can create a text, txt uh, record from a data and vice versa. This shared information can be watched by the peers which are connected thanks to Bonjour, okay, and that are notified every time a change is published. Okay, it's handled by the Net Service Delegate or NS Net Service Delegate protocol. Okay, and I already mentioned a few slides ago this method. Okay. This is invoked when there is a change. So you just have to fetch this information and to check what's going on. And you can stop monitoring such data just by invoking stop monitoring in usually, typically in uh, the did remove service because there is nothing else to monitor. You can convert string to data and data to string, so I just show you the two methods that's useful when you want to prepare such dictionaries. What's very important when you do a share information is to respect convention. So when you have several occurrences of the same app, okay, basically the convention are easy to maintain, but when you have several apps, okay, for example, uh, several compatible apps, then you should respect the standard, okay? Because if you uh, say that I export uh, my information under this name and the other uh, expect it under the another name, then it will not work, okay? So you have to be very careful. So the process, you fetch data by delegation, you transform the data into a dictionary, okay? And then you fetch information for the dictionary, okay? The dictionary, the keys are strings and strings are convention and the associated type of the data that is associated to the key is also a convention. Okay, so basically by respecting this convention you know that for example I have a name which is a string, I have a number which is an integer, okay, and so uh, you know how you can cast your data to be able to exploit it. As a conclusion, I would mention that it's a very useful mechanism that allows to exchange simple information that is flexible and dynamic. And in fact, it's very easy to configure for users since there is absolutely no configuration. It's like in the old radios, okay? You just have to switch on the radio and then you have the waves in the air and then you can catch them. So it's very similar in terms of principles. So you must be ready to use it because it's very useful. Usually it's limited to very local exchanges, okay, but you can do a lot of things. Typically in a showrooms, you can have a large showrooms in a big uh, building 
and for example, location in this showroom or uh, advertising or whatever could be transmitted thanks to such local extensions. Another additional advantage is that a similar mechanism works in Android because I told you it's a international standard so bonjour is the implementation from Apple but you have a similar implementation in Android so it means that if you agree on some convention you can exchange information between an iPhone and an Android phone okay because it was implemented in Jelly Bean in 2012. Thank you for your attention see you later